Coming up on Locked On Now, week 12 in the NFL, we will preview all the big games and talk about the matchups around the league this coming week, starting with Thanksgiving Day. The biggest games, the best performances, expert analysis. You are Locked On Now. Welcome into Locked On Now, everybody. I am your host, Kim Becker, and thanks so much for making us your first listen every weekday. Happy Thanksgiving, and thanks so much for joining us as our Locked On host will tell you everything that you need to know about Week 12 in the NFL. So without further ado, let's talk about this week's biggest game. The Biggest Game The New Orleans Saints will go into Thanksgiving against the Buffalo Bills without their star running back and other key pieces, which means New Orleans will need other players to step up to the plate. Locked on Saints says that New Orleans key to victory is making sure the Saints are helping each other succeed out on the field. The New Orleans Saints look to end a three-game losing streak with a win on Thanksgiving Day against the Buffalo Bills. I'm Ross Jackson, host of the Locked On Saints podcast, and the New Orleans Saints' key to victory this week is going to be playing complimentary football. The offense is going to need to stay on the field to help to keep that defense fresh, and the defense is going to have to make some plays and force some turnovers to put the ball back in the hands of that offense, and the offense is going to have to be able to execute when they get there, particularly early on in the game. We have seen a team that has performed poorly over the course of the first three quarters of matchups, only to storm back when defenses soften up in the fourth quarter. That style of offense has not been complimentary and has not been helpful for this New Orleans Saints defense that has found its ways into struggles with health and injury, which doesn't make it any easier for them. So the New Orleans Saints need to find a way to play complimentary football with whomever it is that's available for them on Thursday. For more on this New Orleans Saints and Buffalo Bills matchup, make sure you're checking out the daily Locked On Saints podcast as part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Now, the Rams have normally looked like one of the best teams in football this season, but the stumbles have some wondering if L.A. is for real here. Our Locked On Rams host says if Los Angeles wants to beat a real contender in Green Bay this weekend, it will have to make sure it doesn't beat itself first. The biggest key to victory for the Los Angeles Rams preparing for this week 12 matchup against the Green Bay Packers is to play a clean football game. I'm Sosa Kermenges, your host of the Locked On Rams podcast. And when you look back to these last two weeks for the Rams or these last two games, specifically week nine against the Tennessee Titans, two interceptions by quarterback Matthew Stafford, week 10, as if that wasn't bad enough against the San Francisco 49ers, two more interceptions. So back-to-back games with two interceptions and not just that, but two out of those four were returned for touchdowns. So not only are you spotting the other team more opportunities to score, you're actually giving them points. And so the Rams are now going to travel to Lambeau Field, get ready to play one of the best teams in the NFL, one of the best teams in the NFC. And, you know, if everything works out as it should for the Rams and the Packers, well, two teams that could very well meet down the road when it comes to the NFC playoffs. And this game is going to be a big one. It's going to decide potentially a tiebreaker or whoever may hold that tiebreaker going into the NFC's playoff seating in these next few weeks and the next two months. Ultimately, the Rams, if they want to give themselves the best shot to win this game, you have to play a clean football game on offense. No more drops on third down. Looking at you, Cooper Cup, Tyler Higby, Van Jefferson. No more drop touchdowns. No more inaccurate passes, turnovers. Stop shooting yourselves in the foot. If you want to give yourself a chance to go toe-to-toe with one of the best teams in football, a very good passing offense, and a very good pass defense in the Packers, you're going to need to give yourself every opportunity possible to win this game on the road. It's going to be a tough one, but it's going to be a great one. And if you guys want to hear more about that, listen to the Locked On Rams podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Now, the Green Bay Packers still need to figure out how they lost to the Minnesota Vikings last week and get ready to face the fearsome Rams defense without some key help from Aaron Rodgers. Locked On Packers says the way to getting back on track is to make sure their star quarterback can do his thing in the pocket. Protect Aaron Rodgers. Down Elton Jenkins, down David Bakhtiari. Some way, somehow, the Green Bay Packers have to find a way to protect Aaron Rodgers against the LA Rams on Sunday. I'm Peter Bukowski, host of Locked on Packers. And without two potential all-pro offensive linemen, Green Bay is going to have a tall task on its hands. And it will be in the literal hands 
of the backup offensive linemen and the rest of the starters of this group to take on a team with Aaron Donald, now with Von Miller, and the number two pass rush win rate in football. Aaron Rodgers, from a clean pocket this year, leads all starters in passer rating. Unfortunately, when he faces pressure, those numbers plummet. He has been one of the worst quarterbacks in the league this year under pressure, according to Pro Football Focus's grades. So the difference is obviously whether or not you can keep Aaron Rodgers clean. If the Packers can, they have more than enough weapons with Devontae Adams, with Marquez Valdez-Scantling, with Alan Lazard working back from injury, with Josiah DeGuara having made some big plays last week against Minnesota, and A.J. Dillon breaking out as a featured runner. They have pieces to attack A defense that has not been nearly as good in 2021 as it was in 2020. But it is all predicated on keeping Aaron Rodgers upright. And there's another big division matchup in Baltimore on Sunday night when the Ravens host the Cleveland Browns. Now the Browns have a chance to climb back within a game of the division lead with a win. But Locked On Browns explains that it could be now or never for the team that is 6-5 that still sits in last place in the AFC North. This is Locked On Browns host Jeff Lloyd with your Week 11 Keys to Victory for your Cleveland Browns playing Sunday night, Sunday night football against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. On offense, it is simple. If it's not going to be now, it's most likely going to be never. This passing game needs to step up. Baker Mayfield needs to find a rhythm, needs to find a way to get his wide receivers involved. It's been a struggle all season. There is no way around it. Nick Chubb will try to do it all. Don't question me. He will try to do it all. But that's no, he's not going to be enough. Baker Mayfield, get the wide receivers, get the passing game going. you got to get closer to that 250-yard mark. Defensively, this defense was built on speed with the premise of trying to compete against good quarterbacks simply like Lamar Jackson. So let's see how that boy plays out. Browns need this one badly. Can go into the bye week, regroup, play Baltimore again after that. But those are your keys to victory for Week 11 for your Cleveland Browns. Jeff Lloyd, Locked On Browns. Appreciate everybody who makes the podcast your first listen every day. Coming up next, we will go around the league of Week 12 in the NFL with other big games. Well, it is Thanksgiving, and we all know what that means. Football, and nothing goes better with football than turkey and betting, you guys. Bet Online has you covered all holiday season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all sports action this Thanksgiving and the holidays. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus with promo code locked on. Again, that promo code is locked on and it will get you your 50% welcome bonus. And it's not just football. No, 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 no. Bet Online has pro and college hoops, NHL, boxing, UFC, even your favorite Vegas casino game. So don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all of your favorite sports. Bet online, we are stuffed with deals this Thanksgiving. Welcome back to Locked On Now. I'm your host, Kim Becker, and thanks so much for making us your first listen every weekday. We are back with four more big matchups in week 12. So let's go around the league. Let's go around the league. <laughs> Now, sometimes it's as simple as getting after the quarterback, and the Jacksonville Jaguars have learned that this season. When it's played well, Jacksonville has stifled opposing signal callers, and Locked on Jags says it can do the same to beat the Falcons on Sunday. Hi, this is Tony Wiggins with your Jaguars' keys to victory. You got to harass Matt Ryan. The Jaguars have done a good job in the last few weeks of getting pressure on the opposing quarterbacks. Matt Ryan isn't the most agile or mobile quarterback, especially at his age. I think if you get after Matt Ryan and don't allow Kyle Pitts to get off and make circus catches in the middle of the field, which has been a challenge for Jacksonville, I think the Jaguars will be fine. Offense, try to run the ball and make things easy on Trevor Lawrence so he can use play action later on in the game and then be able to find some open receivers. So let Trevor get off, but use the run to set it up and then harass Matt Ryan on the other side of the ball. The Minnesota Vikings and the San Francisco 49ers have the same record, but they are far from the same team. I'll let Locked On Vikings explain how this matchup in particular could be tougher for Minnesota. 
The Vikings are headed toward a really, really tough mismatch. What's up, everybody? Luke Braun here from Locked on Vikings. Kyle Shanahan's 49ers are a difficult team to plan for because they do all sorts of razzle-dazzle at the snap to disguise things, mess things up, and, and confuse your gaps, stress your assignments. The Vikings, especially on the defensive line, are really, really thin right now. Michael Pierce, IR. Dalvin Tomlinson, COVID, IR. Daniel Hunter, out for the season with an injury of his own. They are at backups on just about every position on the defensive line right now. So they are going to need depth players to play more soundly than they have before. They will need people to be really, really sound on their gaps. There will be very, very uh, little room for mistakes, and you're going to be encouraged to make mistakes a lot by the 49ers and the tricks that they pull. So the key to this one, to not getting absolutely destroyed by Elijah Mitchell, Mitchell or Jeff Wilson or whoever the 49ers tried out as a running back, Devo Samuel, who knows, uh, the, the key is going to be not being fooled, doing your job, not being greedy, not playing hero. And as a backup who's kind of trying to play for a bigger spot, that's going to be a really, really, really big challenge. That is the key to the game. Stop the run. And to do that, you're going to have to be really, really, really sound in your assignments. For more on all this, you can find the Locked On Vikings podcast free on all platforms. The Pittsburgh Steelers play the Cincinnati Bengals in the other AFC North game of the weekend, and Pittsburgh hopes to leapfrog Cincy with a win. Our Locked On Steelers host knows exactly how to do it. I'm Chris Carter of the Locked On Steelers podcast, and here's your key to the game for the Steelers' upcoming matchup with the Cincinnati Bengals. The Steelers get a rematch with the Bengals team, whose receiver Tyler Boyd accused the Steelers of quitting in the last 24-10 loss the Steelers suffered at Heinz Field to the Bengals earlier this season. But Steelers are a different team, and so are the Bengals. The Steelers are hoping to get some defensive players back this week off of injury, namely T.J. Watt, Joe Hayden, potentially Minka Fitzpatrick off the COVID list. But the bottom line come, does come down to the defense. The Steelers have have won their best game, have won their games when they've been playing their best defense, and that involves limiting the big plays. You go back in and you look at that game, and you saw the Bengals were able to get their 14 point lead by, by how hitting the big plays to Jamar Chase. Last time the Steelers were keying in on Tyler Boyd because Jay Chase was still a younger younger receiver in the league. Now he's about he's about nine weeks into his career and he's playing very well. The Steelers most likely will be keying in on him to make sure that he doesn't beat them. But the bottom line is the Steelers have to make sure that the Bengals' big plays are limited. That'll give Ben Roethlisberger and the offense uh, offense enough time to make plays, and then and then also the defense enough time to force Joe Burrow to be consistent throughout the game and look for some key mistakes. The AFC West standings have stayed close all season. It's been a very interesting division here. With every team within reach of both the division lead and a playoff position, the Broncos meeting at home here against the Chargers is a key game and a key game for them to stay in the thick of things. Locked on Broncos says Denver needs to come out swinging right off the bat, no pun intended, at home. The Denver Broncos' key to victory against the Los Angeles Chargers this Sunday in Power Field at Mile High is going to have a lot to do with how aggressive the offense wants to be. I'm Cody Rourke, host of Lockdown Broncos, and this is your keys to victory. The Broncos coming off of a bye week, getting ready to face the Los Angeles Chargers, coming off of a Sunday night football thriller against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Broncos' offense has to be ultra-aggressive against this Los Angeles Chargers defense. That's surrendering a lot of yards on the ground in terms of the rushing attack. You've got Melvin Gordon, Javante Williams. Be aggressive, run the football with them and take shots downfield. You just paid Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick big time contracts. Make sure you utilize them downfield in what they do best. That's going to be one of the biggest keys to victory for the Denver Broncos this week against the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm Cody Rourke of the Lockdown Broncos podcast. That's a wrap for us. Thanks so much for making Locked On Now your first listen every weekday. I'm your host, Kim Becker. And for more on the National Football League and your favorite team, make your second listen Locked On NFL and your team's Locked On podcast. Locked On, your team every day.